Uh, I'm Kanika Bhargav. I'm an assistant professor at uh, University of Central Oklahoma and I teach courses in food science. So uh, regarding our program of Masters in Nutrition and Food Science at University of Central Oklahoma, we prepare students to have career in the broad field of nutrition, dietetics, food science, food service management. Uh, the admission requirements for this program is uh, you need to have a bachelor's degree, four-year accredited bachelor's degree in a broad field of nutrition, dietetics, food science. Uh, if you don't have a bachelor's degree in this applied fields, then you might uh, be qualify with your bachelor's degree in any other science field like biology, chemistry, physics. However, with that, then you have to uh, do the prereq courses here at University of Central Oklahoma. Uh, the other requirements include uh, you need to be giving TOEFL or IELTS to show your English language, language proficiencies. Um, so pretty much uh, that's about it. Uh, you can, you know, do a master's degree in nutrition and food science. In this program, we have two options. You can do a thesis option uh, in which you can do a food science research project in new food product development or food preservation technologies. Uh, on the other side, uh, you can do a non-thesis option in which you will write a capstone paper in this field of nutrition and food science. Uh, we do offer a dietetic internship option uh, for with this degree. For this, you have to do internships in a dietetic field. So uh, what's unique? Why University of Central Oklahoma? Well, uh, in, at UCO, the class size is pretty small. You work directly with the professors. That's, you know, you get hands-on experience on different techniques. Um, most importantly, we also offer research assistantships, teaching assistantships, scholarships. So your graduate degree might be covered partially with respect to your tuition expenses. Uh, and most importantly, our graduates, they get jobs uh, fairly quickly. Um, they, they are working in a food industry. They are working in, you know, hospitals. Uh, so also some of them, they pursue their PhD degree in this field. Um, so there is like a lot of opportunities at University of Central Oklahoma, and we welcome you here to apply. Thank you. Tani Holmes and I'm the program coordinator and the DPD or didactic program director for the nutrition program here at UCO and um, we have both an undergraduate program and a graduate program that focuses in nutrition. Our undergraduate program is nutrition, dietetics, and food management and can lead to um, what's called a verification statement, which will allow you to apply for a dietetic internship and eventually take the exam to become a registered dietitian. Other paths you can take with the undergraduate program would be if you're interested in food science or food service management. Um, also the culinary side um, of food, as well as working in the community, doing community nutrition types of jobs. Some students have um, mastered or I mean, excuse me, um, majored in our program who are interested in pre-med degrees and other types of allied health. Um, our graduate program, um, we have a really strong food science focus. We have um, also kind of a, a separate pathway, which is dietetics for those who are interested in, in following the dietetics route and becoming um, a registered dietitian. So in our program, we do that. Um, in about a year to a year and a half. Um, if you do the thesis, it takes a little bit longer. Um, most of our food science students go that route. Um, here at UCO, we have pretty small classes, which is nice because you get to know all of the different um, instructors and professors. All of our professors here in nutrition, um, for the most part, are registered dietitians, so we have a, a strong focus and a strong background in nutrition and um, we have a very well-known food scientist on our faculty as well, Dr. Kanika Bargava. Um, UCO is a really great um, place to, to go to school. We have, we have three clubs in our program. We have the Food Science Club, the Food and Nutrition Club, and the Food Recovery Network. So there's lots of ways to get involved if you're interested in nutrition, as well as there's a minor in nutrition. 
We, um, we do have scholarships available on our campus through several different routes, so you're able to apply for scholarships. Our graduate program, we typically will have a few positions, graduate assistantships or uh, teaching assistantships, um, and there is um, other opportunities to work on campus as well.